desires, my heart overflows. The only direction that I'll ever need is a deeper connection. Searching for the answers of our trust We came so far through our weakness We found the love even the stars Between us won't marry us One day we can be together and this moment could last forever I say that you and I have found a piece of heaven So I pray we can be together One
everybody and welcome on a Sunday morning here to the home of Auckland Badminton. It is finals day of the National Championships for 2022. It's a pleasure for you to be with us today. Glenn Lam is my name. Kia ora to you and here with me is Vinnie Harris for finals day. We've got five matches coming up today. Vinnie, should be cracking days of action. Exactly. We have uh, five exciting badminton matches today. It's been quite some time over the last few years for these badminton players to come in but we have great entry numbers and we have the best of the best playing today. Absolutely. Well, we've got five matches as I touched on. What do you think or what are you most looking forward to? Which matches? All of the matches are going to be exciting. I'm super excited for the men's singles, which is our first match up. And then there's also uh, some exciting doubles to come to. Including the uh, the mixed doubles final, Oliver Layden davis and Anona Pack, who of course will be representing New Zealand at the Commonwealth Games. That's going to be an exciting conclusion to the day's play. Exactly. They're two amazing players. They've also been playing some international tournaments this year, including the All England, which is an amazing experience for both of them. All right, so that is uh, how it's all looking as we move forward through the day. It's going to be a great day's badminton action. Shall we check out the order of play now? And let's have a look at the action. We're going to start off with the men's singles, and that is between Edward Lau and Abhinav Minota. That should be a really good match with the top two seeds making it through. Then we're going to follow through with the women's doubles. Sally Fu, Camila Joe up against Irina uh, Calder Hawkins and Jasmine Ning. And then we move on to the men's doubles. We're going to see Minota back in action with his partner Jack Wang. Adam Jeffrey and Dylan Shudyatsa will be their opponents in that match. Then we move to the women's singles, Caitlin Rosario and Shauna Lee. And then the mixed doubles, as we just touched on, Layden Davis and Pack up against Adam Jeffrey and Calder Hawkins, who's out there for a second time today. Let's get the action underway now with our first match. It's the men's singles final between Edward Lau and Abhinav Minota. or black? Black called. Red, your choice. Receive. Thank you. All right, so we're not far away from the start in this men's singles final. How good to have the top two seeds, Vinny. Oh, uh, these two are amazing badminton players. They've um, played each other quite some uh, many times and they are super fast, so this is really exciting. Yes, Edward Lau, you can see, has come through winning his four matches, all in straight sets, including that semi-final win over Ricky Cheng, 21-8, 21-15. And Minota, well, he had a bye in the first round, but then his four matches have also been won in straight sets, including that semi-final win over Oscar Guo, 21-11. 21-14. What have you made of the form, Vinny, of these two players coming in? They've been pretty dominant in them, all, of the, all of the matches they've played. Very much so, and especially the semi-finals action last night. They, they did have some tight matches, and despite the scores being reasonably one-sided for the most part, the, the quality was very high, so it'll be interesting to see how they uh, play off against each other today. So Minota, the more experienced of the players, of course, but at the moment, it's Lau who has the number one ranking in New Zealand. He has beaten Minota twice out of ten matches, but uh, how significant do you think that is, Vinny, with Minota winning 80% of the matches between the two in the past? Well, historically, yes, uh, Mani has won a little bit more, um, but... I will have to say that Edward is showing really good form. He's recently won the Oceania Championships that was played earlier this year in Melbourne, and he is in form. So it will be um, a really tight match, I think. Yeah, well, good was it for Lau to win, though, the Oceania Championships. That was some achievement, wasn't it? Beating Nathan Tang of Australia in the final in straight games. Really good effort, wasn't it? Exactly. I really wish I was there, Glenn. It, it was... <laughs> Um, yeah, a really good sight to watch on the live stream. So here are the two players warming up. Always a lovely dynamic in racket sports. You always warm up against your opponent. And, uh, and these two are, are, are quite uh, well known to one another. They, they were just before the match playing with one another as well. So it's um, good to see that they have 
a civil relationship on and off court. Absolutely, both North Harbour players. Real strength of uh, badminton at the moment is out of that North Harbour region. We get, uh, we're going to see a lot of Aucklanders and a few from Waikato, of course, uh, in the other finals that we're bringing you today here in the 2022 National Championships. But this should be a classic match. It's all set up for what should be a, a terrific contest between these two. Best of uh, three set encounter. Just going through those final pre match routines. These two. With a national title at stake. Both tall athletic players. Very much so, and, and uh, despite their, their uh, physical similarities, they, quite, they do play quite differently as well. We'll um, get to see how they manage one another. Yeah, Manota's got a Ladies and gentlemen, crafty streak on my about right, yep. Edward Lau, North Harbour. And on my left, Avanav Mamota. North Harbour. I have no motor to serve. Love O. Play. Help. One. Love. Service over. Good return One. to serve there from Lau, driving Minota back deep on that forehand side. Set up the point low, uh, really well for him. Oh, great action in that rally. Fantastic play. Service over. Two, uh, it's one. only the third point of the match, Finney, but how good was that? Oh, amazing control at the net. These two are spectacular with their skill set. I know that it already looks like he needs an oxygen tank. Oh, wonderful. Shots. Yeah. Caught out. out. Three, one. That was a close one. Service over. Two, three. Very competitive start between these two. Service over. Well, Four, misjudgment from Lau there. A dropping in from Minota. A very flat little push there too. drop shot wasn't it service over three four one of the more difficult shots to execute Vinny as you well know mm, yes and also one of the harder ones to retrieve well yeah if you execute that perfectly a deep drop shot wonderful touch there from Edward Lau brings it back to within one point now he's all square four all Had a Five, chance there. Four. Couldn't quite execute that smash. Opportunity missed here. Feel the tension between these two at the moment. Mm. Maybe a few nerves sitting in Six, there for Minota. Four. Edward coming from a deficit. A few points up now. Yeah, nice little run here. That's his third point in a row, Lau. Oh, 
Oh, lovely touch from Anota. Good rally. Service over. Five, six. Oh, needed something special to stop Lau's run and pulled a nice trick out of his bag right there. Oh, he has got that Service in. Over. Wonderful Seven. reactions from Lau. Five. Another day at the office is the expression on his face. Yep. Service over. Six, seven. A few one four series from both sides to start off this match. play from Anota. He had the ascendancy Seven. there. All. He's reaching really far forward to that shuttle and getting it so early he's pushing Edward to, to come in and get that next shot. Flowers defensive skills though have been very good so far in this match. Yes. And that's the key in racket sports. Wonderful rally. That one's the rally of the match so far. Eight, so to say, seven. Key in racket sports, Vinny, is always get your opponent playing one more shot. You just never know what happens. Exactly. And that rally itself, you got to see a little bit of everything. They were playing drive so fast, and then all of a sudden there's these deceptions going on. There's so much to it. Minota reclaiming the lead now. Oh, it's been a terrific first set so far. You right? Well, to get that past, past Minota Over. there. Eight, all. Maybe Minota thought it was just drifting wide a little bit there, Vinny. So locked up again. Oh, lovely cross court smash there from Edward Lau. Beautiful. Nine, eight. He had to reach for it a bit too, didn't he? Yep. Over his left shoulder, but it wasn't what Marnie was expecting to come back. Absolutely. Point for point at the moment between these two. Oh, yes. That one's in. That's Service a over. slice. Nine. Well played. All. Yeah, it was just drifting wide and landed about, uh, what, three or four centimetres inside the sideline. So this is a great contest. They're going point for point at the moment. And... Very evenly matched these two. Oh, yes, that same shot playing Ten, that cross court nine. slice. Not exactly a smash, just cutting the shuttle a little bit so that the shuttle drops a little bit faster to the floor with a bit less power, too. Now, Lau will have to keep and be aware of that shot. Minota has executed beautifully on those last two rallies. Our biggest lead of this set has only been two points, so it's tight. Service here over. won't be happy about that one. Ten. Three points. Oh. You know, points have been hard to come by in this match so far, Vinny. Don't want to give up free ones. No. So there we 11, are, 10, to the interval, interval, leading by one point. And what's your assessment of how these two have started this match, Vinny? Well, they're playing at a high pace, Glenn. It's um, hard to keep up with that uh, for those that aren't able to um, move like these guys are. So it's a really tight competition and despite a few unforced errors from both ends, obviously on the scoreboard, uh, they're very much evenly matched. And I think that's just 
um, to, to show how much they know each other as well. They train together so often. Um, they're both very evenly skilled and um, competitive guys, so um, it's a great competition. Yeah, it is, and you can, just feel, you can feel the tension on the centre court here. Yep. And I wouldn't be surprised if we get a few more unforced errors through the, the match. I mean, there's a lot of pressure in, uh, out there at the moment. Exactly, it's, it's part of the game. The race to 21. Great smash. Service over. He had a bit more heat on that one. Wasn't quite oh. looking for that. that it wasn't slice. the same slice, no. No. Nice right down that line. Now Minota locks things up once again. Twelve. Eleven. Edward really trying to pick up the pace with those shots too. That's a nice little run for Minota now. That's three consecutive 13, points. 11. Very well judged to be able to tell where that back line is. It's Service in. Service over. Change of scenery, 12, playing, going from playing those, uh, those fast and flat shots to playing a nice little drop. Yeah, caught Minota on the hop, that one. Service over. 14, 12. And just like that, Minota's is back up. Yeah, big points now coming down the back end of the set. Minota can get a couple more on the run here. Could be a set winning margin. Edward did very well to 15, get out of um, a tough situation after those first few shots. Yeah, minota has got a very good ability to lengthen rallies out. Very patient player. Not necessarily look for that killer blow. No. Especially when your opponent's looking for that one the most. Yeah, Draws you in and keeps going. It does. It's uh, just all part of the tactical strategy yes. of the sport. That one's dropped in. Service over. 13, 15. Big point that one there, Vinny. Could have easily been 16, 12, four point margin, but. Yeah, he hit it perfectly right in the he? corner there. It was judged to perfection. Called in. Wow. 14, 15. Doesn't seem too happy with that call. Those ones are agonising, aren't they? You ah. think it's out and they drop so slowly. <laughs> yeah. It's like a so, slow motion point. Oh, wow. So three point 15 deficit all. has been wiped out by Lau. 15 all now. Great shot. 16, 15. Again. Four point run, sorry Vinny. Lau uh, getting himself out of a bit of mischief. It looked like he slipped there for a second there and he was able to get back into the rally and this time being able to also finish it. Wow, that was a spectacular finish. Mm. These players have just slightly slipped on occasion, or it looks like they have. And you see Lau just wanting to make sure that that Quarters nice and grippy. Yes. Oh. What a run here for Lau. 17, 15. Five points on the trot now. And all of a sudden the pressure's right on Minota. Exactly. 
yep. Edward's playing really well in these uh, last few points, and uh, we'll see how Marnie can really manage that moving forward because these next few points will be crucial. It's in. It's so in. Over. Right. Six the line at the far 17. end of the court there. Giving himself a lifeline wow. there. Hmm. Now that last second decision to let it go, thinking it was going to be long. It's great defense from 17. Marnie there. He, he oh. didn't give Edward any room to breathe with that shot coming back. Well, sweaty palm territory now, Vinny. This is all about mentally handling the moment. I'm feeling it too, Glenn. <laughs> yeah, I can see you're on the edge of the edge. You see there. Oh, yes, Minota at the net. Commanding point that time. Amazing 18, control. 17. Really made the most of getting that shuttle as early as he could. Yeah, he had good court position there too. And now this first set twists again. Service over. 18, all. And we're back square. Three point, it's basically a three point contest now, isn't it? Oh, he changed his mind, went for the drop shot. Got 19. The, got the tape. 18. Which sometimes the shuttle will trickle over for. Yes. Not this time. down 15 12 Five. earlier in this first game and the wonderful comeback here he's won eight of the last 11 points what? Here it goes. Goes. Game. Yeah, disappointing first game one by Lau, that. 21 18 but Lau takes first blood in this Men's singles final, 21 to 18. Why do you think, uh, Vinny, that Lau managed to get get those big points over the line towards the end of that first set? Oh, he's defending really well. He's getting himself out of some tricky situations. And uh, despite Marty being able to uh, usually make the most of that court space when there is a little bit of trouble going on the other side, uh, Edwards uh, getting himself back into each rally and uh, we know that every point counts especially in a match like this where it's so close so Edwards playing um, quite well to be able to stay in those uh, rallies where it's maybe a 50-50 chance that he's still going to get that point. I think mentally too he absorbed the challenge quite nicely he almost thrived on it being down by three and then came back nicely to close it out whereas maybe Minota didn't handle that moment as well as he could have. You can see him striding out the back there. What do you think is going through his mind at the moment? Yeah, he's just giving himself some time to get back into the tactic that he's probably thinking about and, and, and to maybe look at the consistency in which he's playing because he, he will need to make a couple of changes, I think. So we'll see how he really manages that in the second game. It's, it's fine margins, though, isn't it? Just the slight unforced errors or, you know, decisions letting the shuttles go with, which drop out when they, you want them to drop in vice yep. versa that's really it's been his, the story of his first set yeah yeah and it may be a matter of focus okay. um th there's a whole bunch of things seconds. that it could be glenn it's um 20 seconds but we do know that marnie's a great player and he has that skill set to be able to bring himself back in and he's also uh such a competitive guy so it will be um interesting to see how he goes about 
of the second game. Remember, second Minoso game. at the far end of the court here has beaten Lau eight times Go previously, all. so he's at least got that to draw from as we start the, the second game now. Men's singles final. Service over. One, love. Away, got away. It's over. Long there, Lau. Looked like One. he sounded like he framed Four. that last shot. Yeah, Marty really had him um, deep in that uh, far four court, four uh, hand corner, and he couldn't capitalize. Too much power that time from Lau. Two. One. Great body smash. Sometimes it's the last thing that you expect the shoulder to come straight to you, especially when there's so much court to be filled. Yeah, almost hit the feathers off the, the shuttle there. But now making a, uh, an impressive start again. Hoping to roll that form forward. Lovely shot from Minota. It's over. Two, all. Absolutely. Gem of a little drop shot to that forehand front corner. Exactly, and with the power that Edward Lau's coming into uh, that shuttle with, it's, it's so hard to keep it that accurate, that return. And it has to be accurate. It has to be absolutely pinpoint, because Lau, under normal circumstances, would get that back. That shot again, that cross court Three, slicing smash. Always oh, taking it away from the, the racket of his opponent. Really awesome deception to set that shot up as well. Oh. Service over. Three, all. Lau pounce on that one. Again, it's pretty similar early stages to the first game. Players trading point for point. Well, oh, Mr. X, that Service one. Over. Well, why? Three. earned points for both players at the moment. Good rally. Seeing a little bit more patience here from Minota, he's um, knowing when to play clears and to give himself that little bit more time to get back in the rally and settle down. Play. It's working in his favour too. Absolutely. Unfortunate, but set that rally Four, up really well. Five. Change. Just, just didn't execute the smash. Players asking for a change of shuttle after a, a really tight fought rally. Well, these two are in a battle. National title on the line. Oh. The reactions like Service lightning. Over six, four. Well, first time we've seen a player jump clear by more than one point in this second game. I'm 
for Stereo at the net there. Seven, four. In. He had a lot of time to think about what shot he wanted to play there, and he came so in with that cross court slice that's Five, been working so well seven. for Marnie so far. Yeah, the irony of that. Not lost on Minota that time. It really looked like uh, Minota thought about three different shots that he could have played from there. Yes. Sometimes it's hard to choose which one. Indecision. Oh, that's beautiful. Right. Beautiful Service touch. Over. All corners and facets of the court there. Great court geometry is the, uh, the term for that one, using all the space required. Very scientific for me. Exactly. Service over. Seven, eight. was still hanging around. Minota feels like he's just had a slight momentum in his favour. But oh. it's only slight. How good was that droppy again so for Minota? Nine, yeah, seven. these deceptions are so hard to read sometimes when you, when you have to uh, think about whatever shot may come back. And that's the thing. Lau knows he's got all, his opponent's got all the shots. Yeah. to restores a 10 point, uh, uh, rather a three point lead. It's good work from him. Remember he must win this game to send it to a decider. Oh. 11, seven, interval. Uh, smash was probably the right one there, but he just didn't quite execute. It's a four-point game here for Minota, biggest lead of this second game. But he knows Lau is a very capable player, and he's not the Oceania champ for champion for nothing. Exactly, he's um. There's always a chance. It doesn't matter what the score is, really. The, these guys are always going to find some way of getting back into it so it, um, it, it looks like it's going to be a good uh, second half and we'll see whether or not Lau's going to come away with it or whether or not Marnie's going to give himself another chance seconds. to decide it. 20 well, seconds. How crucial do you think the next maybe two or three points are here for Lau to come back and maybe Mount to come back in the second game? Yeah. Critical? Very much so. Um, we'll see potentially a tactic change. We'll 11, see maybe seven. a couple of um, nerves setting in. It might be Play. either or both sides, who knows. Oh, I'll stand corrected on that nerve front. <laughs> seven. Minota getting Thanks. the shuttle to glide across the net and falling over the other side. It's another little three-point run here for Minota at just the right time. Five-point margin. It's going to be interesting to see if Lau can come back from this. Oh, amazing defense. 13, 7. And what a way to finish that rally, too. Minota's got it on a string at the moment. He is so precise with his shots. Oh, 
Oh. Ah, Minota read it there, Vinny, Service I thought. Service over. 8-13. Just flew off the racket a bit strongly. Yeah, yeah, he did get it so early and he got it in time too. He won't be happy about that. Hugely oh, critical point there for Lau. Nine, Here 13. it comes again. And this is going to be interesting to see how Minota handles this too. He knows Lau's got the power. He saw that lovely comeback in the first game as well, Finney. And Lau can get hot here. Look out. Yep. There. 10, 13. And he's closing that gap ever so slowly. Now coming back now. It was five point margin, now it's back to three. Shot from Minota. So over. 14, 10. Driven back to the baseline. And to execute something like that from deep in the court was special. Lau was not expecting that cross court to come back that way. Especially with that sort of precision. And that's well judged by Minota. 15, 10. Oh, two quick points. To Minota, it's him back to a five point buffer. Still a bit of work to do. Service over 11 15. I don't know if the line sucked that shuttle onto it like there like a vortex but something happened to it because Minota was convinced that was not going to land in. Amazing control too. Twelve, fifteen. Course, drift inside stadiums can be an issue too, Vinny. Do you know if there's any in, in here? Uh, it's not too bad in here, Glenn. Um, you will typically see that in the larger stadiums but the, the Gillies Ave Stadium in Newmarket, not so. Oh, lovely reactions from Lau. Maybe a touch fortunate 13, to win the rally. But 15. He'll take everything he can get at the moment. Especially at this point, that these rallies are way too tight on on the, on the scoreboard and also on the rally. Uh, on course as well. Play. And he's great mental strength out, just doesn't give up. Help. Another one to Lau. 14, 15. He used to take the scoreboard out of it, I reckon, when you're in a deficit. You just uh, slowly come back, point by point. Now it's done, so four in a row. And now it's locked up. Fifteen, all. Both players really fighting to take control of the net in that rally especially. Um, they have so much control at the net and, and the shot quality that it's coming off is really good too. Wow, the 
Jenkins is on 16, now, Minota. 15. She's got to hit the reset button somehow right now. Yes, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but it may be three unforced errors in a row here. And now Edwards back in front from a five-point deficit. Incredible comeback. Oh, has that clipped the line it has? Minota again. 17, 15. He's judging that one. A towel only. And you do anything to try and get your mind back on the job here. Exactly. Minota just now Thank asking you. for a uh, short towel break. Uh, granted by the umpire, and they are getting back on court just now. Oh, fantastic run here for Lau. Seven points in a row. Oh, that's eight. That's great smash. 18, 15. Oh, Lau's only 21. He's got some mental fortitude. That brain of his. Oh. 19, 15. An incredible run here for Lau. He's just two points away from claiming the national title now. to set that one up nicely. Over. Nice way to stop the rot. 16, 19. Edward doing really well to even hit that second to last shot back. That, that's hard. Great reflexes. That's it. 17, oh, 19. Isn't. Was long. It was long, so big point there for Minota. Eighteen, nineteen. Great comeback here from Minota. This is really tight now. Edward Lau with the game point, 20, match point, match championship point. point. 18. Two championship points here. Lau for the title. And there it is, the top six Ten. done it. Two tight sets. Youngster from North Harbour, the Oceania champion, has Match won. one by Edward Lau, 21-18, 21-18. The national championships for 2022 20, in the men's singles. And that was some comeback. He was down by five points in the second game in particular. A wonderful effort for him to win in straight games, 21-18, 21-18. Really tight match just played between the uh, the top seed Edward Lau and uh, Abhinav Minota. That was uh, a bit of a spectacle in terms of the uh, tactical awareness and the shot quality that's coming off from uh, both players. Uh, you will have seen that uh, Edward was able to come back from a five point deficit. Uh, and show some great mental strength to be able to get back into that uh, second game. And it's over to you, Glenn. About the matches, Mani Minota and Mani, hard luck on uh, on the defeat. Um, tight match though with Edward. Yeah, yeah, it's always been a tight match with him, uh, regardless of how we play. Uh, again, like it depends on the day, and he's an amazing player. Um, yeah, and. Yeah, I, he just was top of me all the time. Um, I just couldn't back, get into the rhythm, even though I had his uh, lead in the second game. I just gave it away. Um, yeah, and there were some crucial calls for me, uh, but it is what it is.
All right, well, congratulations. Here is your runners-up prize. Congratulations, and we'll see you for the doubles a little bit later on. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Yeah, Marnie Minota, runner-up for the 2022 National Championships in the men's singles, and it's time now to welcome our winner, Edward Lau. Well, Edward, congratulations. Well done. Thank you very much, yeah. Well, tell, talk me through the match. It was tight. I mean, you played him so many times. You know him so well. Did that match unfold as you thought it might? Um, yeah, that's the hard thing, playing someone that knows my game. Um, I try to back myself, but then I know that he knows my shots, so I have to change it up sometimes, and that's where I get caught. Yeah. Well, you were down by five in that second game, so what were you telling yourself at that stage to get, uh, get the job done? Uh, I was just um, thinking about one point at a time, not so much about the score, because I was behind by heaps, so if I just play one point at a time and see how it goes. Yeah, and especially having the first set, I knew that if it didn't, didn't work out, I still have another chance. Some people might get a little bit kind of frazzled when they're down by five like that, but what are you telling yourself to, to, to stay strong and stay in the moment? Uh, the key thing um, was having that first set because I knew that if I lost the second set, I could um, come back in the third. And thinking, I wasn't thinking about the five points down, I was just thinking about one point at a time. Yeah. Good for you, Edward. Great year you're having. Now, I've got uh, something special for you here. Here is your, the first trophies. Congratulations. And most importantly, here is the men's singles title for 2022. Well done. Thank you. Thank you very much. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Edward Lau, the winner of the men's singles for 2022. All right, and stay with us. We've got the women's doubles final. Imagine if we could make sport way easier. Imagine if everyone could just cheat. It would ruin sport, eh? Well, that's what doping is. People who are using performance enhancing drugs are making a joke out of real training. They're turning sports into a circus and Drug Free Sport New Zealand need our help to find the clowns. Now clowns can seem like high performance athletes and pretend they are the real McCoy. But this is what they actually look like. It's a joke and it's not funny. So what should you do if you see a clown? It doesn't matter where they are, from the Olympic podium right through to your social sports team. If you see a clown or suspect that there are clowns around, head over to Drug Free Sport New Zealand's Speak Out page. Speak Out is a safe place where you can easily and anonymously report any clownish behaviour. We train so hard for a spot on the team and a medal around our neck, only for it to be given to a clown. By speaking out, we protect our sport for all the athletes that train hard and fair. Because it doesn't matter if you win Olympic gold or the Sunday League Shield. Stand with champions, not clowns. If you know a clown or have seen something suspicious, head over to drugfreesport.org.nz and speak out. He or pono. Together, we can get the last laugh. All right, thank you for joining us here again at uh, the home of Auckland Badminton at Gillies Ave in Newmarket. And uh, that was a great match between Edward Lau and Avinav Minota.
with Lau winning in straight games 21-18, 21-18. So here's the order of play. Later we'll have the men's doubles, women's singles and the mixed doubles. But it's time now for the women's doubles final between Sally Fu and Camelia Joe and Irina Calder-Hawkins and Jasmine Ng. It's time for the players to come onto the court. Should be a good match, Vinny, this one. Yes, yes, uh, this is a replay of the recently open segment of the New Zealand Badminton Tour for the year 2022. Um, so these two pairings, uh, they know each other and they have recent, recently played against each other. Uh, they are competent badminton players, including um, one Camellia Joe, who I believe to be the youngest player that we have on court today. Wow, OK. Well, here, are, here is their route to the final uh, with uh, Fu and Joe having those two matches, winning again in straight games, although unfortunately, Shauna Lee and Alice Tegel, uh, there was a retirement in their match, which was a bit of a shame. But anyway, they are in the final, Fu and Joe, and Calder Hawkins and Jasmine Ng, well, they played that extra match, but they've been in pretty good form, even though maybe that quarterfinal was a little tight, 24-22 in that second game. But uh, they were confident winners, big winners, in fact, in their semi-finals against Galvez and Morena, beating them 21-17-21. It's rather 21-10. Oh, no, that was a three-setter, three-gamer, wasn't it? Yes, they dropped the first game, 21-16, yes. But came back to win comfortably those last two. So we're time now. We can welcome the players onto the court now. Sally Foon, Camelia Joe, and Edna Calder Hawkins and Jasmine Ng. Second of five matches here on uh, the finals day for 2022. And here are our officials for this match. Into Chen. So looking forward to these two doing battle. And uh, Camelia Joe, the youngest, yes, just 17 years of age. And uh, Sally Fu from Auckland, 22 years of age. So the players warming up now. It's going to be interesting to see how this one unfolds. You mentioned the recent meeting between the, between the two pairs. And, uh, it was won by Fu and Joe. Yes, that was a um, good match uh, in the Waikato Open Finals uh, between these two pairs that we see on screen today. Uh, Sally Fu and Camelia Zhou came through with the win, 22-20 uh, and 21-17 in that match. Tight, tight games. Exactly. Tight games. Maybe just getting through the end. They are ranked, uh, the ranking is better. Paul De Hawkins has been around a while and uh, seen her on this court many times before. Looking forward to seeing her again. Yes, and uh, her and Jasmine have been playing well all weekend. Uh, they're a force to be reckoned with, and they do come across the court with um, quite a lot of consistency and passion, so it'll be great to see that on court today. Well, indeed. So Fu, the 22-year-old, and Joe, 17. Wins it just to wonder whether Fu and Joe, who haven't been on his court much, it's always yeah, you kind of think you kind of look for ins and outs of uh, of uh, momentum coming into grand finals, Vinny, and they haven't been on court as much at all. Maybe they're fresher, maybe, yeah, they may be fresher, they may be feeling the nerves a little bit more. It really depends on that mental strength that we just saw in uh, Edward Lau in the men's singles final. So, uh, let's see if Sally Fu and Camilla Joel can come through in that same manner. Indeed, and the other on the other side of the equation, though, Erin Calder Hawkins, Jasmine Ng might have been on court longer and taken to three games in one of their matches. But you know, you could argue that they're match and battle hardened, aren't they? Oh, precisely. Yeah, yeah. Even yesterday evening's match in the semi-final, the one that went to three games, um, you, you could see on the scoreboard that they Ready came play. across with a um, win in that decided 21-9. So they really settled in at that point. And it's always good leaving your best to a deciding game. 
So here we go. We're not too far away from the start in the women's final. Don't forget we will have the men's doubles final and the women's singles and then the mixed doubles to conclude the day's play. And that mixed doubles final will feature the two badminton players that are off to the Commonwealth Games soon for New Zealand, Oliver Layden Davis and Anona Pack, the top seeds. These uh, seeds here with Fu and Joe, the number one seeds against the unseeded pair of Calder Hawkins and Ng. So the men's doubles final will be the next match. Then we will have the women's singles. And the last match of the day, that mixed doubles final. That mixed doubles final in, in that last match also including uh, Quarter Hawkins in the um, in the pair on this side of the court with the red skirts on. Absolutely. And, uh, of course, it's always interesting. You've got to make sure with... with uh, multiple matches and players may be involved in two of them as we've got today you got to make sure the schedule is nice and spread out to ensure they get adequate rest exactly and it's also about managing your time in there being able to maybe get the blood sugars back up and going and at the same time you may need to cool down you may need to warm up it really depends on a case by case ladies and basis. gentlemen on my right Sally Fu and Camellia Joe Auckland and on my left, Arena Coda Hawkins and Jasmine Ng, Auckland. Arena Coda Hawkins to serve to Camellia Joe. Level play. Oh. Service over. One love. Jasmine is fired up. One, oh. That's one way to loosen up, Glenn. Defensive abilities from both sides is um, so consistent and they play really fast, so it, the rallies change all the time. shot to win that rally. Yeah, it was a really fast uh, punch clear and, and it got here in a quarter Hawkins off guard, you can see. Joe to serve. Oh. Oh. Service over. Three, Get that two. shot. Nice and tight and accurate. So, uh, one point lead for Calder Hawkins. Interesting to Service see that over. rally tactically Three. play out. Fu and oh. Joe keen on keeping their opponents deep in the court as possible there, Vinny. Fu to serve. Four series from Quarter Hawkins.
she's all over that one. Yep, she Seven pulls over. Over Four, five. Why she'd read the playbook. Sally Foo there. Nice play from Foo there. Always nice. Service over. Feels good. Six, Moving towards the net to kill four. off a point. For yep. me. She came back with a vengeance after that serve return from Just Quarter me. Hawkins, and and it must have felt really good to hit that one on the floor for Foo. Nicely set up there by Quarter Hawkins Service and in that time. Really five, good. Six. It's exactly the way how to return a serve. A nice one-two punch. Oh, pretty decent Service effort from over. Jasmine Seven, in there to get that penultimate five. shot back. You'll see in the doubles, Glenn, that the first three shots are so important. They're always trying to get the shot as early as they can to get that attack Check. straight away. Yeah, it's always intri intriguing, too, to see how the team's set up. Backhand, forehand, you go kind of side by side, more down the middle. Maybe one patrolling the, the, the front of the net a bit better, more often. You want to play to the strengths of each player, don't you, when you're sitting up with a partner, Vinny? Of course, and, that, and that's how um, the, the different pairings work so well together, or maybe vice versa, depending on how they do um, operate. So it is uh, different for everyone. Seven. Oh. So Corga Hawkins and Ng cut that two-point deficit back to... Stevens, so this one again starting tightly. Service over eight seven. Good shot from Joe there, just putting it in that uncomfortable hitting zone for Calder Hawkins. Couldn't really get a good swing at the, the shuttle that time. Yeah, they're both putting a lot of pressure on when they're attacking. Service over. Gotta love the passion Eight. from these two. That you've oh. got to celebrate those points. That's that again, it must feel really bloody good. <laughs> well you finish it off with a shot like that. It was really good for me. Service over, nine, eight. Just a bit of a mixed bag from Cord Hawkins and Ng at the moment. There's some really nice play from them. And then just those ones are a little wayward. And Fo, Hafu and Joe rather in the, in the game. Straight down the middle, sometimes Service that's the over. most effective shot. Nine, oh. Yours, mine, yours, mine. Oh. And maybe a, a, a sign of uh, the the lesser matches played by uh, Fu and Joel throughout this weekend. Lovely return there. Service over. Ten. Good play, Nine. Sally Fu. Very fast to move back and uh, be able to attack on that one. Tested point by both sides there. Um, they're really gunning for it. Yeah, it was a war, war of attrition, that one. Too much power from Sally Foo's racket. So 11 10, 10 a one point game at the interval. And it 
again, it's been to and fro, cut and thrust. Nothing separating really these two combinations. No, they're, they're both coming out really strong and the, the consistency across uh, both sides of this net are, is pretty good and, and they're defending reasonably well too. It's more about uh, who's going to capitalise on the opportunities to attack and really uh, try and get, do that extra effort and put that extra effort in to be able to earn that point. A chance for both teams to just talk things through. What are we doing well? What do we need to do better? How do you think they're playing? What could we do better to create some indecision? These are all the all the discussions that seconds. Vinny, you'll be well aware of. Yep. And, 20 and, seconds. Uh, both pairs being from the Auckland Badminton Association with no coaches coming on for this match. You'll sometimes see coaches coming on, but in this circumstances, there's um, no coaches 11, around. I like that. 10. Puts it all on the players. Exactly. Play. So Sally Fu to start things away again. play from Camellia Joe there, killing that one off lovely. Twelve. Yeah, they had him running around yeah. the, the rear court and coming into the mid court and they uh, really made the most of that opportunity. Ah. Play from Service Paul over. Hawkins that time. 11, 12. Yeah, really controlling the net there and um, being able to finish it off when she could. Yeah. Yes, lovely play from Sally Fu. Service over. 13. 11. Authoritative point from Fu and Joe that time. Change. Joe for 17 has got some promise. I, I wouldn't take the age into too much consideration 13, here. 11. She is a um, bit of a Play. powerhouse. There, so big, say big margin, biggest margin of the first game now for Fu and Joe. It's at three points. Some slight condensation Play. on the court for uh, Quarter Hawkins and Ing. Quarter Hawkins not ready to receive that one. She still really had her hand quickly. up. Play from Calder Hawkins. Could Service return over. there, driving. 12, 14. Yeah, Joe back. And then killing it off. Service over. 15. Fu read that as out straight away. As soon as it came off the string, she said, out, 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 and it wasn't. Well read by Sally Fu. Oh. Yeah, just trapped on the side there. Again, Quarter Hawkins not 15, able to get a good swing at the 12. shuttle that time, and Fu and Joe opposing themselves now. I think making the most 13, of that short lift there. She was 16. only playing that from halfway down the court. Yeah, if you're slightly off with your shots, very difficult to get back in a rally. Service over, 17, 13. Quarter Hawkins and Ng will need to recompose here if they, they want to um, get back into this first game. Ah! 
service over. 14. Oh, they give themselves 17. hope, don't they, with those well won points. In. Or is it Service out? over. Caught out, out. Down, down the far side. 14. Yes. So Joe's little errors there, Vinny, are the ones that are costing quarter Hawkins and Ng. They do well to work their way back into it. Yep. The sports are made of margin sometimes. Service and over. even with 15, defensive shots. 18. Like the one off uh, Zhu just then. Only just managed to get under the tape. away from the first game now, Joe to serve. Ah! Oh, service on over. To that one in a flash. 16, Great smash down the 19. line there too. here on the first. Yes, uh, uh, Flex their muscles nicely here towards the tail end of this first game. So Sally Fu, the game point. It's out. Yeah. So there is the first game. And it's gone to the top seeds. First game won by Sally Fu and Amelia Joe, 21-16. And a uh, really good effort near the end of that the players, game. Yeah, and the players having a bit of a laugh there in the last one because some would say that Jo was uh, quite good to leave that one, but in fact she swung and missed. So she did have a little bit of a giggle, which wow. is fair enough. Wow, wow. Very interesting end to that, that one. 21 to 16. And just wonder if those errors, those unforced errors, forced errors even as well, near the end of that first set were just costing call to Hawkins and England. Oh, you're so right, Glenn. Um, the, this game is a game of consistency, and from simplicity perspective, it's uh, the person who hits it over and in the most is going to win. So um, at this point, it's uh, Zhou and Fu that are really showing that and putting the pressure on when it really matters, and, and they have come through with this first game as a result. Indeed. So repeat of the Waikato Open final going... The way of this pair here. The call to Hawkins and Ng certainly shouldn't be counted out. If they can just cut down their error rate a little bit, Vinny, and then you know, stay in these rallies a bit longer, then I think that'll benefit them. Oh, you're right. It, it is a um, matter of just really small margins. Um, these shots aren't going out by far, and they're, they're uh, so close to going over the net when it's relevant. So. Um, They'll just need to regroup for the second game if they want to stay in and get into a decider with these two. It's not going to be easy, but that's why they play the game. So here we go, game number two of the women's doubles final. Hope you're enjoying the action here on finals day of the 2022 second National game. Championships. Thank you for joining us. Level. Here play. we go with game number two. Service over. Good One. way to start for Ring. Love. Nice from Sally Fu. Oh, she read that Service one well. Over. One. Oh. Did she what? Fantastic execution there. Ooh, Fu had that rally wrapped up as well. Two, Just didn't execute one. that little attempted winner at the end there. A bonus point there almost for Calder Hawkins and Ng. Yep, and they're happy about it too. 
too long, that serve. Service over. Two. Oh. on that one from Joe. Service over. Three, two. Really moving that rear court player around quite quickly in these last few rallies. Oh. A couple of wayward shots from Four, Amelia Joe. Two. A two point buffer here. Can they maintain it? Keep it going. The straight smash Three, down the middle. Four. Who's supposed to hit that one? Yeah, creates indecision, doesn't it? Good work from Sally Fu there. Too much power from Sally Fu. Yep, she's coming in with some big booms on this one. Four. Oh. Yeah, best you keep it away from Sally Fu's forehand smash. She's going to make you pay. Oh. Service over. Five. Oh, Joe, wayward on that serve. These errors are giving this pair here a chance to come back into the match. Wow. Yeah, she really uh, got that one nice Five. and early. Oh. It's nearly like she was wanting it to go there. Great smash. <clears throat> Just on the hip of the racket side Five. of Porter Hawkins, which is sometimes quite an awkward shot to return. Deciding whether to use a backhand grip or a forehand grip, it's um, not easy because they're such fast decisions to be made too. Ah! Well, how good was that return Six. from Porter oh. Hawkins? Longer rallies go, and Joe and Fu fire up with these smashes. Finney, Cordell Hawkins, and just having a little bit of trouble dealing with the power of this pair. Yeah, the two are very consistent, Tim. There, that they're really getting those shuttles quite early and maintaining attack when they when they do get it for the most part. So uh, it's uh, sometimes not the easiest thing to get out of. Seven. Six. Got to find a way to um, get the attack back when you can, right? Absolutely. If you defend the whole day, it is... Um, it's a long day. Exactly. <laughs> that smash down the middle has been quite effective in the second game. Eight. Six. It's got to be so precise too, doesn't it? Yep. That gap between the two players may be... Um, it can be in many different places and you've got to know. If you want to hit it with conviction. Service over. Seven. Eight. Food did well to stay in that rally. Right? That, uh, just going to leave one early on and then the last second decision to play it. Call to Hawkins and Inga coming back. Sally Fu says no. Oh. 
looks ten, like uh, seven. Bo both pairs are really struggling to find the length along that back line. Um, a lot of these shots going ever so slightly out, but out nonetheless. Yeah, too much power oh. for Fu and Joe there. Eleven, seven. Lovely point one Eight by the them. So a nice buffer for them at the interval four point game for the top seeds. To close on in here on a national title in women's doubles. They've just joined us today. We have to congratulate Edward Lau, the men's top seed. He beats Abhinav Minota in straight games. 21 18, 21 18 to win the men's singles title. We're in match number two of five. And the next match we will have will be the men's doubles final. And we will see Minota again. And Jack won from Auckland, the top seeds against Adam Jeffrey and Dylan Swadyasa for the men's doubles title. 20 seconds. And then we'll see the women's singles final between Caitlin seconds. Rosario and Shauna Lee, two North Harbour players. And we'll finish with the mixed doubles final, Oliver Layden Davis and Anona Pack against Adam Jeffrey and 11. Marina Calder Hawkins again. Seven. So that's the schedule. Ready? So Fu with the shuttle. Seven for a five point lead. And she gets it. Another smash. She's Twelve, got that shot humming seven. nicely in this match. players coordinating what they want to do with their serve and what they're expecting to come back because they've got to be on the same page. Wow. 13, seven. That was a fabulous finish from Joe. Lovely snap of the wrist on that one. Shuttle just uh, showing a little bit of uh, give to maybe go over the net, but it wasn't to be. Oh, great touch. Service over. 14 8. It's not easy when you're at the net like this. Take the pace off the shuttle, get it nice and tight over the net. Yep, you've got to be ready. Shot from Paula Hawkins that time. I'm going to need plenty of more of those to find a way back into the match. Nice and tight over the net from Ng. Could not have been tighter. 10 14. Oh, that was a great little net cord there. from Sally Fu. Service over, 15-10. King and Calder Hawkins are, are, are doing a good job to stay in the rally with, with their defensive position, but I think they're really struggling to turn it into an attack. Um, and Fu and Joe are really just capitalising on having that attack for the most part and being able to finish it off. Good power that time from Jasmine Ng. Yep, hitting it with so much conviction that she snapped a string in her racket and she Service is over. after for a fresh one. 11, 15. 12, 15. Oh, good to see Ng and Cool Hawk and smiling, they're enjoying themselves out there, maybe thriving on this pressure of coming back.
Two unforced errors from uh, Sally 15. Fu over these last 15. two points. She's taking some time to regroup. Yeah, just get back on point. Yeah, this time it's Eng with that play down the 14, middle. 15. Good comeback by Calder Hawkins and Eng here. Game on again. went for the same. Charlotte at one point during that rally. Still won the point, Vinny. Yep, checking their rackets just to see if there's any uh, nicks or cracks in there. Looks all good, and they are happy to have come across with that point as well. points will be crucial for quarter Hawkins and Ng to see if they can find um, some sort of flame to keep themselves in it. Yeah, well, they mounted that comeback, but... Uh... <laughs> Very nice. Quick little flick serve 18, to put Ng under some 14. pressure, and, and um, Joe was able to create that space in front of Ng and yeah. make the most of it too. Three points in a row now at a vital time of the match. another one that smash from Sally Fu 19, um, really showing 14. its prowess yeah, it's really been a feature of this match hasn't it Super rally. Great Seven badminton over. from both players. 15, both teams 19. that time. Rally of the match, I think. That, that was um, great from both sides. They, they showed a high pace Play. and a lot of pressure going back and forth. Pressure here on Jasmine and got to get the serve right. Another terrific rally. 16, Hard four point 19. goes to quarter at Hawkins and Ng. Oh, got to admire Quick their tenacity here. Still working very hard, Vinny. Yeah, and it looks like uh, both teams are looking for a short break to regroup again and uh, make sure that they are ready. most prepared for the next few points because they will determine who. Um, is going to potentially come across with this national title. Absolutely. Camille Joe, Sally Fu. Just two points away from that title. This pair here, making them work hard. Oh, beautiful return. Not Seven enough number. depth on that serve. 20 match so points. Brings up 16. match points now for Sally Fu. And Camellia Joe, and plenty of them. Oh, she's done a brilliant rally to finish. 
Sally Fu's reactions, absolutely extraordinary there. So the national title goes to Fu and Cho. And it is a 21-16, 21-16 scoreline. Yeah, the... Got to give props 16, to Sally Fu and Camille Joe. You can see in that last game, on oh, that last point there, that it's so hard to get it past Sally Fu, and that's maybe one of the first times that we've really seen that defensive side of it. Whereas she's been so dominant with her smashes and showing that power, she's um, really come across and uh, showing all facets of the game. Well, good effort too from Calder Hawkins and Ing in that match, though, too, Vinny. Correct, yes. Um, Got to give them props too. They were in that uh, match all the way through and uh, like we said earlier, there is um, no margin for error and when you uh, give the other side an opportunity to have some free points, uh, they will often make the most of it and that's what we have seen uh, today in the women's doubles uh, championship match won by Sally Fu and Camellia Jo of Auckland. Uh, great display of badminton here on our Sunday morning. All right, thank you, Vinny. It's time to welcome in our runners-up now, uh, Erina and also Jasmine. Well, hard luck today, Erina, first of all. Um, it was a... Uh, you, you, had, you had some two pretty good opponents on the other side of the net today. Yeah, no, because we um, train with them at Auckland and at National Squad Training, so it's like it's always tough playing your friends and also because they know your weaknesses and know your strengths, so they can really adapt their game t against us. What about the fight from you guys, Jasmine? I mean, that was pleasant to see. I mean, you've got great energy, the great combination, eh? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think we have a lot of fun together, so that I think that adds, in, adds something special to the court when we're really close friends as well, so yeah. That's really cool. All right, well, congratulations, guys. Here's your trophy. Yeah, congratulations to Erina, and there's one for you too. Thanks, guys. All the best for the future. There we are, Erina and Jasmine, the runners-up. Time to welcome in the winners now of the national title of women's doubles. And we've got Camelia Joe and Sally Fu. Well, Sally, I mean, a real feature of the match was your smash. You had that dialed in, didn't you? Yeah, um, I've been practising that a lot, and just gymming helps as well. So I think that's, like, my strength. And uh, Camelia, congratulations, you're a national champion at 17 years old, it's pretty cool. Yeah it is, it's really nice to have Sally, which is like a senior, to help guide me along and obviously the coaches have helped me a lot along the journey, yeah. Why do you think you got on top of this match? Because you've got, you had a good combination on the other side of the net today, Sally. Um, I think we've like trained to play like the attacking game, so especially if I'm at the back attacking, Camelia's there covering the net and I know she can cover anywhere around the court as well, so it was just really good to have her as a partner just to cover me. Cool guys, well, got a trophy for you. First of all, that's for you, and this one's for you, Sally. And most importantly, here is the trophy. Congratulations, national champions of the women's doubles. There we are, Sally and Camellia, well done. Guys, congratulations, well, well done. That was a great match, and we've got our next match coming in just a moment. It's the men's doubles. Stay with us.
right, thank you for staying with us here. We've got match number three coming in just a moment on final day of the National Championships 2022. And we have Abhinav Minota and Jack Wang up against Adam Jeffrey and Dylan Sudyasa. And that is the doubles final. Don't forget about the women's singles final. That's coming, Caitlin Rosario and Shauna Lee. And then we'll have the mixed doubles final at the end of the day between Oliver Layden Davis and Nona Pack up against Adam Jeffrey and Irina Calder Hawkins. So it's time to welcome the players on now. Courtside for the men's doubles final. So Dylan Swidyasa and Adam Jeffrey up against Amanev Minota and Jack Wan. Second time we've seen Minota today, beaten finalist in the men's singles. And our first look today at Adam Jeffrey, who we'll see in the mixed doubles final as well. Okay, Adam, would you like green or black? Green call, cool, because black. Green. Dylan will serve. And who's receiving? Jack will see. Okay, thank you. Very impressive coin toss by the head official. Yep, Simon has um, been around the block a few times on, on the old umpire stands, and he knows what he's doing for sure. Well, what are you expecting in this doubles final as we take a look at their paths to the final? Uh, Minota and Juan dropping one game in their quarter final. Went to extra points too, 22 20. And uh, Jeffrey and Sudyasa also dropping the game by the same score. No, they dropped the first game of their semi final against Fong and Wong. It uh, came back to win in three. So, quite interesting to see both combinations here, Vinny, with similar records coming into this match. Yes, and uh, for uh, Jeffrey and Sudyasa, their semi final that they played last night going to the third game decider was a very exciting one against uh, uh, Dakman Vong and Evan Wong who are also a well regarded pair in the community um, I think today we'll see a lot of very fast play and mixed with a lot of control so it will be an exciting one for sure here is the head to heads just the one time they've met before, and it went to Minota and Wang. Wang, a young player, just 19 years of age. And, uh, Minota, of course, very experienced, so Wang will enjoy playing with uh, a guy 11 years as a senior. So Yas has been around a while as well, playing for North Harbour in the Western Cup. Of course, Adam Jeffrey, a bit younger. But, uh, Good player on the rise too, Finney. Oh, that's too right, uh, Glenn. They are all very good players on this court this morning. And um, Dylan Soljasa with the um, little bit more experience in the blue is a very strong uh, front court player. So I, I believe that they'll be trying very hard to get Dylan moving forward to control the net so that Adam can... Um, put some power play into the rear court stuff. Um, equally, uh, Minota and Wang are both very good players, very different stylistically too, so they come in with a little bit more variation, I think. So it'll be see how each uh, pair comes and manages that. Well, I'm almost loath to get your prediction. Bitty out of this because uh, you've talked up both combinations really well there. It's going to be tougher. tougher. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Ebena Monota, North Harbour, Jack Wang, Auckland. On my left, Adam Jeffrey, Auckland, Dylan Sajasa, North Harbour. Dylan Sajasa to serve to Jack Wang. Love or play. One, love. The defensive shot called in, hit by Adam Jeffrey. Oh. The 
beautiful thing about men's doubles, it is the most spectacular form of badminton. It's the fastest, isn't it? Rallies are very short, generally, Vinny. Yes, there's a lot going on in the short space of time. Service over. Minota's second match today. One, I'm two. sure we'll be highly motivated to come out of here and try and win for the second time. After failing in the first one, the, the men's singles. Great Service return to over. Jeffrey. Three, one. It's easy for uh, an accomplished singles player like Minota to adjust. Uh, there's a big difference in playing singles and doubles. Out. Isn't there, Vinny? Two right. Service um, over. Two, three. A lot less time to react and think about what's going on in a doubles court compared to singles. Great work there from Subyasa. No did well just to get a racket Service on that one. Over. Four, two. Rally. Wonderful defense. defense, wasn't it? From the note and one. Five, two. Wow. But it was relentless attack from Sudyasin and also Jeffrey. They just wouldn't give up. And a display of defense from Soljas and Jeffrey this time. Six, two. Play. Seven, two. Well, one just not on target at the moment. Okay. Shots, good early lead here. Jeffrey and Sudyasa. Very confident start for these two. Well, service over. Three, seven. Over. A little wee uh, briefs of the players here. Eight, three. So one of the questions that Dylan Sudias was asked, describe your playing style and the strengths you will bring to the championship finals. Bolt. And his answer was, can't give away Service the secret over. weapon. Four, eight. Good to see a sense of humor, a humor, a sense of humor rather on Dylan Sudyasa. Whatever that secret weapon is, but he's going right at the moment. Oh. Nice from Jeffrey. Service over. Nine, four. This blue team here is um, really taking control of the Ness and mid course in this uh, first half of the first game of the men's doubles. to not happy Ten, with that call. Four. This is a decisive lead in the first game. The team in blue. And they've got a seven point buffer Eleven, four. at the interval. interval. And this is a great start for them. You surprised that it's been so decisive one way? Most of their matches uh, throughout the weekend have um, shown quite similar trends, I think. 
Um, and like you said before, we've already seen Minota play them in singles this morning and there may be some adjustment period that's um, being displayed right now. Um, we also know that uh, Wang, a 19-year-old coming into the doubles final, may be a bit of pressure for him. Um, so there are a lot of things going on uh, this morning and uh, we do have to give kudos to Soa Joss and Jeffrey who do seem to be playing very well. Uh, off, started off fantastically well. So a big task here for Minota and Wang to try and find a way back into this opening game. Eleven four. Play. Service over. Maybe some cheap points will be. Five. 11. Order of the day. Finish Two there. Over. There's some spectacular 12, action in that rally. Five. Wow. Yep. They're taking stuff. Wang and Minota are really uh, keeping the control there for the most part and not being able to finish it off. Unfortunately, they they did so well to um, stay in that rally with that with that attacking position. For Jeffrey 13, and Sudyasa. That defensive shot from Jeffrey uh, as a winner, but really getting past Wang, who had to make a quick decision whether or not he should leave it or go for it. It's been a fixture for match two as a lack of Six, errors 13. coming from Sudyasa and Jeffrey until that one. Blemish free. And Minota will want to see more errors out of their opponents. Another one. Seven. Thirteen. Jack showing a little bit of patience there too. He maybe wasn't in a good position to continue with the, the attacking shots and decided to play an overplay, which... Uh, prevailed in this instance. Out. Service over. 14-7. Uh, free point there for Jeffrey and Sudyasa. Just what they wanted to just get them back on point. Service over. 8-14. Minota was very clear then that he didn't want Jack to hit that shot. Is over. Fifteen eight. Oh, lovely from Wow, you read that one Service beautifully. Over. Nine. Fifteen. Great return into no man's land. Yeah, he got great angle on it, didn't he? Over. Sixteen. Real live wire, isn't nine. He? A lot of energy, um, a lot of control too, which is hard to make that balance work sometimes. Oh, wow. 
Mosa just clean missed that 17, one. 17, 9. Big lead now. Eight point margin here. Over. Second return in a 10, 17. Points. He's absolutely nailed. That one was just a brute force. Well left. Suvis over. 18, 10. I think it's first instance, the instance, the instance, the instincts to replay that one. Fault. Service over. 11, 18. Over. Nice judgment at the back of the court has been 19, spot on in this first 11. game. Yes, he's having a very good day. A the court, please. Uh, also a good weekend, I think. Just a bit of sweat falling on the court. Yeah, mocked up for safety reasons. Jeffrey and Sudyasa now two points away from this first game. Men's doubles final. And now just one point away. Minota just did quite enough height game on that point one. 11. Nine game points here for Jeffrey and Sudyasa. They game. only require one, a decisive first game there in the men's doubles final. First game final. won by Adam Jeffrey, Dylan Sajasa, 21-11. And that just went beautifully. It was a dominant display of men's doubles badminton by uh, Jeffrey and Sajasa. They are uh, really uh, dominating the court and making the most of every opportunity. Although I will say, uh, Abin of Minota and Jack Wang, they are no strangers to finals day badminton. They earlier this year uh, came out as the Oceania uh, champions in the men's doubles, defeating a Victorian team in the final. Um, so they are definitely not out and done at this point. But what are they? What did they lack? Do you think in that first game, Vinny? Oh, there were a few unforced errors, and and like you said before, there is uh, some struggles with judgment on the rear court line. You said that Dylan Sawadiasa was really uh, getting some pinpoint accuracy there with uh, court awareness, and uh, those points do make a big difference. So we'll just have to see whether or not they're able to regroup and get themselves back into the second game here. Well, based on what we've seen so far, it's going to be tough. Yes. Uh, but, but, Minota is not one of our very best players at the moment for no reason. I wouldn't count these two out just yet. Second game. Love all. Lots of chalk talk there between Minota Play. and Wang. Not much between Jeffrey and Sudia. So they're very clear about what they want to execute here. Yes. Service over. One, love. Good start. Good start for Monota. Oh. Oh. One there. His power on display. Two, love. Jeffrey a little bit there. Trying to get that shuttle as tight on his body as they can. Oh. 
Vesuvius. Over. One, two. You'll see uh, Wang and Minota are a left-hand, right-hand pair as well, which often leaves a little bit more uncertainty with the shots going down the centre of the court. Yeah, I guess the natural, over. natural thing is to favour the forehand side. Three, often. One. It's over. Two, three. Out. Service oh, over. Executing the serve there. That Four. With the answer. Two. Nope. Sometimes the net gets in the way. <laughs> That's a pain in the butt sometimes. There's our one. We'll Service testify over. right now. Three, four. Ah, oh. uh, from Wang again. Yes, and the, uh, it's over. is the variation Five, three. that he's playing with as well. It's not just the power, he's playing slices and some fast tight angle drops which is uh, from what we can see putting Jeffrey off his timing a little bit forcing a shorter lift giving you that opportunity to really t attack and with some power well left by one a last minute decision there six three to let it go. The excellent judgment by the young Aucklander. Good little start here for Minota and Wang as they try and find their way back in and send this game match to a decider. Bolt. Service over. Four. Jeffrey had good six. forward position on that one. In. Service over. Was well into that one. Seven, four. Yep. Wang was uh, crouching down really low to be able to hit that one with his racket in an upward position, which uh, does make the shuttle fly a little bit more favourably. Service over. Five, seven. This over. Jeffrey very wayward Eight, with that serve. Five. He won that one back. And Twang and Minotes will take it in their stride. Service so over. An opportunity missed there for one. Six. Eight. Sudhyasa and Jeffrey to hang tough, stay in touch. Oh. Oh, that's beautifully done by Sudhyasa. Service. Pouncing at the net. Seven. Eight. Beautifully there. He's on it like a panther. And I tell you what, this is good work from Sudhyasa and Jeffrey. Eight all. The push going long from Minota to even the score up here. Eight all. Wow. And now? Nine. Eight. A couple of errors off Wang and Minota's rackets here. Jeffrey and Sudyasa take the lead for the first time in the second game.
good rally. Yeah, yeah so it's just over. scrambling through to uh, stay within the rally, and uh, it came with um, no avail here because Minota and Nine, Wang were just four. so dominant with their attacking, and they so persistent. Nine, interval. Making the most of that short lift again, uh, hitting that one from about halfway down the court, giving himself that opportunity to not only hit it with that much more oomph, but also being able to hit it with a little bit more angle to make it harder for the opposition to get it back with any sort of quality. So 11-9 at the midway point of the second game. Still hangs in the balance. Very much. Don't think we've seen Sudyasa and Jeffrey hit the high straps. That they uh, get the heights of uh, output here in the second game as they did in the first game. No, you're 20 right. 20 seconds. They, these two on screen just now, 20 they seconds. are really um, giving it their all in the second game, and it, it, it's coming through on the scoreboard. They'll be wanting to maintain that uh, lead throughout the second half, so I think these first few points are going 11, to be quite nine. crucial for them. Absolutely. I think you're spot on, too. They've cut the error rate down, too. Play. Start of the second game. Minota and one. Oh, beautiful. Service over. Excellent from Sudyasa. He won that point on his Ten, own. 11. He was ready for anything to come back, and, and, and he made the most of it. Just 11, like that, all. in the blink of an eye, we're back locked up again. Service over. 12, 11. Well, that's pressure, I think, Vinny, right there. Yes, there's maybe a little bit of nerves from Jeffrey. Two errors in a row. 13, 11. He'll be wanting to get back into this match so that they can maybe finish it off in two. Yeah, it's an interesting point of the match now. That's so uh, the body language of Jeffrey. 12. Lift 13. immediately from that point. Not sure if it's a sigh of relief or a, a show of power. Bit of both. 13 all. Hanging around here, so Yasser and Jeffrey. And Service over. 14 13. Marnie was so quick there to get in behind Jack and be able to play that shot with uh, a little bit more angle. Over. 14 all. Soldiers is really uh, coming in so fast with these net shots and he's putting a lot of pressure on whenever he's there. Yes, he's continuing to play very well, isn't he? <laughs> Firing up here. Oh, he's pumped. Dylan. Dylan. Just wait for the line judge to make a call first. 15, 14. 
umpire just telling him to maybe wait for the official call to be made. You never know what's going to happen. Beautiful play from Jeffrey and Sudiasa. Lovely combination 16, of attacking and defensive 14. badminton. Hard earned point there, Vinny. Good one for this pair. Decisive points now, big point here. Jeffrey got to get the serve right. Oh, it's in. Serve is over. Oh, Sudiasa. His 15, judgment has been 16. so good through the match, but it just let him down a bit there. Yeah. Yep. Um, and at a crucial point, like you say, Glenn. Minota may have been wanting to even attack off that flick serve, but he, he did stumble a little bit, and he decided to give himself a little bit more time by playing that the, the, the clear. Oh, wow. That's great, Edmonton. 16 all. Now fight their way back, this team here. Here we go. It's very tight, this second game. Oh. Service over. 17-16. Well done by Adam Jeffrey. Oh. Easy kill there for Wang. Service over. Lift was no depth on it at all. 17 all. Set up beautifully by Minota with some control at the net. Wasn't it? I wouldn't pick this game. Over. Well, two teams trading points at the 18, moment. 18, 17. Minota and Wang just getting a little tangled up with each other there. Oh! Beautifully done oh! by Dylan Sudyasa. 19, Played it 17. away to the open court magnificently there. Yeah, he's clipping the lines really well and, and he's getting the shuttle so early. He's making uh, Wang and Minota really work for every single shot that they're going to have to get back. Uh, within two points of victory here, Jeffrey and Sudyasa. Sudyasa again just 20. got enough match depth point on that one. 17. So three match points here for Sudyasa and Jeffrey. Perfect timing for them. They've won the last three straight. Can they complete? Great rally though. Over. Survived another day, Glenn. 18, 20. Uh, rinse and repeat for the team in white. Got to do it all again. Yep, and all. then again. It's not over till it's over either. Especially with these two. Second match point. And oh, okay. lovely finish for Adam Jeffrey.
back he went and killed it off. Fantastic finish for Sudyasa and Jeffrey. They had some real heat Match on them in that game. Jeffrey, Dylan Sudyasa, 21-11, 21-18. It's a national championship title to Adam Jeffrey and Dylan Sudyasa. And uh, I think they were just, they, well, clearly were. The scoreboard tells us they're the better team on the day, Vinny. They were today, Glenn. Um, and it was actually a reversal of the uh, Waikato Open men's doubles final, which was played earlier this year, in which Minota and... Wang were the victors, winning 21-13 in the deciding third game. So today coming back with a vengeance and being able to really uh, turn the table and play with uh, everything that they had in this um, Sunday morning men's doubles final. We've got to give kudos to the... Uh, Runners up here, Minota and Wang, who have played really well to get here today. Over to you, Glenn. Well, thanks, Vinny. And I'm um, here with the runners up. And first of all, Jack, hard luck. Uh, they just got just a bit too good for you in that match today. Yeah, yeah, they played very well. Um, Money and I, I think we had the right strategy, but at the end of the day, we just didn't quite execute it. And that's how it is. Sometimes they play a bit better on the day, and that's congrats to them. They played really well today. Yeah, that second uh, game in particular, you had your chances in that second game, but you've got to give them credit for the way they stuck tough money. Yeah, yeah no, I think they stuck to the plan, and then I think a um, lot of shadows were coming back, so I think we a little bit rushed um, when we had the chance. Um, so I think we, we had to patient, be patient and then work with it. Um, and I think that's where we just missed out, um, but otherwise I think it was a good game. Hopefully it was a good game for the spectators as well. Um, but yeah, no, they played really well. Well, you know men's doubles is always great to watch, so don't worry about that. Now I've got something for you guys. Here we are. Congratulations to you, Jack, and to you, Marnie. You. Well done, guys. So, well, you. well done. Runners up there, Jack and Marnie, and now we can welcome in the winners of the national title for 2022 in the men's doubles, Dylan Sudyasa and Adam Jeffrey. Well, Dylan, well done. That was a very good win. What does it mean to you to be a national champion this year? Oh, it means a lot. We played them twice already this year and lost to them both like three, uh, sorry, close three setters. And to come out here and play our game and win it like we did, uh, yeah, very happy with the result. What about you, Adam? What does it mean to you to be a national champion? Uh, yeah, it means a lot. Uh, just coming through to, from the juniors a few years ago and now last year losing in the finals was a bit upsetting. Uh, so now, yeah, coming to this and winning this is really good improvement. Well done, guys. Great match, and I thought you played very well. Here is your your plaque, first of all. So congratulations, and there we are, the national champions for 2022 in the men's doubles. Well done to Adam Jeffrey and Dylan Sudyasa. Awesome. Well done, guys. Well, stay with us. We've got another match coming next, and it is the women's singles final. So stay with us. We'll be having that one for you right after this. Imagine if we could make sport way easier.
Carl, thank you for being with us here at the home of Auckland Badminton for the 2022 National Championships. And we've had three matches now. We've got two to go. Mixed doubles coming up last between Oliver Layden Davis and Nona Pack. Adam Jeffrey will be vying to become a double national champion this year when he teams up with Erin Accorda Hawkins. But uh, it's time for the women's singles final now. And let's welcome on our two players, Caitlin Rosario and Shauna Lee. Both players this morning are residing out of the North Harbour Badminton Association, uh, so it isn't the first time that they have played against each other. Um, they they know each other's games reasonably well, and have um, yeah been around the block a few times here. Indeed, Shauna Lee, the 18-year-old, Caitlin Rosario, the 21-year-old. Yeah. yeah. Shauna Lee, the second the seed. Yeah, so black color and there's a green color. So which one? So you win the toss? You receive? This one, okay. Well, coin toss. Quite as had, had the style and the execution as our previous umpire, Simon Lim, who nailed that one. But uh, Shauna Lee is the second seed, and uh, she looked very good in this tournament so far, Vinny winning all of her matches in, in uh, straight games. Yes, Sean is a um, force to be reckoned with on, on a singles course and also just on a badminton to court generally. She's, I believe, won five gold medals this year already um, on the singles stage. So she is definitely, uh, I would say, the favourite for this match and it will be great to see how Caitlin goes. Yeah, Victoria Guo got uh, close in that opening game of that semi-final for Lee Prevailed. And uh, Caitlin Rosario, well, a good win for her over Courtney Trillo. That was the big one for her. She, uh, Trillo, uh, a very good player, but um, Rosario came through in three games there. Yes, Trillo uh, being the top seed at this tournament this weekend, um, coming in against Rosario in the uh, first match for, for both players. So that was a uh, great match to start off their weekend on a women's singles court. Uh, obviously, Rosario coming out trump with the 21-14 deciding win. And then she had a three-gamer the next day as well in the semi. So two of her three matches have gone the distance. So it's going to be interesting to see what her stamina and fitness are, is like heading into this match. Exactly. She's um, been playing some good badminton this weekend. So we'll be, and she'll be hoping to be able to keep that run going. Here are the wins. They've met plenty of times with Shauna Leaf. Ten wins out of the 15 matches. So these two know each other very well. Both players left-handers. Rather, uh, Lee is the left-hander. So can you see Rosario mounting a, a case here for victory? It's going to be tough for him. But it's not impossible. I'm not impossible, and she's obviously got some some good mental fortitude, having come through some tight matches so far. Exactly, and she has uh, beaten Shauna on the occasion, so um, she'll be hoping that that's one of those days, Glenn. Um, she can play some really good quality badminton, and she has been doing so this weekend. But uh, the national title Ladies at stake, gentlemen. So here we go. On my right. Killian Lucilia, Lof Harbour. And on my left, Sally Lee, Lof Harbour. Sally Lee to serve, Lavo, Pay. One Lee. love. Accuracy dialed in. There she is again at the net. Got a good all round game, hasn't love. she? Yes, and she's coming in with deceptions and holds. It's it's very hard to get the timing right when you're when you're playing against somebody like that. Three love. Out. Out. Love. 
Mistake. Full love. Out. Some so what? One full. Oh, sorry. Mistake again. Umpire Andrew Chen with uh, uh, oh, another right. correction. Yes, it should be five love. Six. Oh, this love. is a fantastic start for Lee here, Vinny. Yeah, I think Rosario is coming in with some good intentions too. It's just an execution matter. On that one. Seven, love. She knows that she is going to have to play really well to uh, beat a player like Shauna. Oh. Shauna Lee is an interesting, you mentioned Eight, we, we saw that pre-match graphic. She actually has actually beaten Shauna Lee five times. Mm. But clearly Lee is improving. Out. Yes, and I, I believe that those matches Light, include love. the New Zealand Badminton League, which has a different match format, best of 5 to 11 points. So all of these things are to be considered when, when you're Shop looking at, at those, um, One, those rankings and the, the match history between the two players. Well, finally, this wonderful start from Lee. It's broken. Rosario just taking her time now to try and execute the serve spot on. That's good work from Lee. Subsua. Playing it away to the open court. 10 1. And that's what Rosario is going to need. Two, She's going to need ten. plenty of line liquors all the way through. Well, Lee is taking up good court position too, Vinny. Rosario is trapped. It's like someone's built a wall halfway down the court. She can't get over it. Yeah, uh, it's so hard to be able to... Uh, create space when you've got a player as strong as Shauna. She covers the court really well, and her creativity and variations with her shots is um, something that is just uh, very impressive and hard to read when you are equally trying to uh, make the most of your your best chances seconds. as well. Oh, Shauna make uh, Shauna Lee making no race of this first game. In this women's singles final. You can see despite the the score she is dialed in here too. She is very Eleven, focused. Two three. That's a great smash straight down the line from her overhead side. Twelve, two. And even when under pressure, she's, she's still uh, able to find Two. those corners so well. It's such a skill in the sport, isn't it? Wait your shots. Fourteen. Two. Bit of frustration showing for Caitlin Rosario after these unforced errors. She just has to go back to relive the good memories two. that she's managed to create this week. Yeah. Getting to the final. Oh, oh. What a drop shot. That was fantastic from Lee. 16, two. Yeah, that's the first time that we've seen a, a shot played like that at all today, I think. Good Joshua. work from Rosario. Uh, she's just got to keep telling herself, look, I beat the top seed earlier in this tournament for a reason. 
Yeah, there's, there are uh, shimmers of light here. She just needs to make the most of them and, and be able to create more as well. Oh. Like that. That's a great rally where she followed up and, and was Ooh. able to um, finish off with the, the body shot. So Lee reasserting her dominance Seven now, in. closing in Four. on this opening game. Yeah, it's nicely done by Rosario. Jump to mark. five, seventeen. Beauty of this sport, of course, once you drop a game like it seems she probably will be, you hit the reset button, start again. Out. Yeah, and if she can Six, um, manage a few points before finishing this game as well, then she might be a little bit more confident going into the second that we'll inevitably have. And a few unforced errors from Sean are coming out too. 17. Great judgment by Sean Lee. It was only just long, wasn't it? Eight, ten, eight. Nice smash. Get the error off Lee's racket. Eight, ten. And now Rosario's uh, getting a bit of encouragement now. Yep, and likely will come out in a bit more confidence too. Sexual nineteen nine. Out. So that brings up Trendy eleven game, game points point nine. for Shauna Lee. Shot. Lovely finish, wasn't it, from Shauna Lee. Class performance from the number two seed to take first that first game. game. By 70, 21, nine. Very comfortably won by Shauna Lee, 21-9. And now the challenge is for Caitlin Rosario. Can she find a way to get back into this match? The referee's being called for some matter. Rosario has just called. Maybe she's uh, got an injury, maybe. She does have uh, strapping on both knees, so it may be something to do with um, previous knee injuries that she's had. I'm, I'm unaware. Rosario showed great courage to come back. She dropped the first game of her semi-final. It's a small lead, 16-21. Oh, she won some... What was the uh, indication there from the umpire? Some kind of hand? Yeah, or, or maybe some cold spray for something. She's got her hands on her lower back there, so maybe she's feeling a bit of discomfort there and needs a, a bit of attention to that. So we're just going to hopefully see if Rosario's okay. Mm. Yeah, here you go, you're spot on there, Vinny. The magic sprays out. Yeah, slightly issue with the back. And bam, the, the pain is gone. Thank you. Shauna Lee waiting patiently on court. Uh, probably trying to stay in the game and, and not let any disruptions like that disrupt what she's oh, right. um, here for. 
Well, that's exactly right, Vinny. I mean, that situation for the other player, you can't control it. So you just got to roll with it. Yep. So here we go, game number two. Out. One. Look. Pull just long. Two long. Good work from Rosario. Lovely touch. Yes. One, two. She seems a little bit more comfortable on court. Maybe their cold spray did wonders. Start here for Rosario. Ooh. Remember, oh. Lee started off the first game nine, rattled off nine straight points. Nice power at the back from Lee. Gets Three. the serve back. Two. few uncharacteristic uh, unforced errors here by Lee. She she wasn't showing them in that first uh, nine point run in the first game, but here we are. Good rally. Beautiful spinning net shot from Shauna Lee to uh, force a loose net shot to come back from Rosario and, and able to put it on the ground. Rally that one for Lee. She knew she played that well. Five, that one was in. Three. It's just so irritating, isn't it? Watching the shuttle drop in front of you, thinking it's out, but it isn't. Oh. You, you've all been there, haven't you, Vinny? So far. Yes, yes, I have um, Four, left five. a few that I thought were <laughs> out, and they were unfortunately in. Thanks for reminding me, Glenn. No problem. I think uh, you're not really a, a real badminton player until you something like that happens. Oh, exactly. Right of passage. Oh. So far. He's staying in these Six, rallies nicely. Four. Two point lead here for Lee. That's two misjudged uh, service service shots. Just wide. That's unfortunate for Rosario. Eight, four. Just enough heat on that one from Lee to force the error off the, her opponent's racket. On the lucky net cord as Nine, well. Four. The net can be the worst enemy or the best friend. That's yeah, exactly. Rosario asking for a change of shuttle and umpire Andrew Chan uh, granting that. Nice ball pass. other players in the background there as we uh, to uh, nine four you, know, you see these players in the background there Vinny getting stuck into the cells pizza yeah thank you cells for the for the pizzas there um and yeah like you say Glenn everyone looks to be enjoying it we have someone taking a photo likely for Instagram um 
got to do it for the gram, eh, Justine? <laughs> and, yeah, uh, the, the score, 11-4, um, although a reasonably big gap, it is a better contested game compared to the first. We've got Caitlin Rosario, who struggled in that first seconds. game and is now picking up the pace and uh, really competing for these points on a better basis. So uh, Shauna is doing a lot more work to earn every single point and, and Caitlin will really want to keep going with that Seven, trend to four, try and um, s tighten this gap. And that's a good start with a easy one to leave. Three point for Caitlin Rosario. Oh, lovely shot from Lee again. Bit of a, bit of a mixed bag, Shauna Lee in this match, but she does things well. Them very well. I like that one right there, smashing Three, it away to the open court. Five. Beautifully set up to really um, forcing Rosario along the rear court line. Forty-five. Beautiful slice. 15, five. Absolutely tremendous shot again. Oh, great turn in the defense 16, from Shauna Lee. That was five. a beautiful shot. Not able to get that one on target. Five. Should it well to even get a racket to that one, didn't she? Six seventeen. Rosario was really um, gunning to get that one in the in the front course and put some pressure on. Well. Short elite closing in on victory here, national title. Very close now, just three points away. Oh. Six. Oh, really on a big roll now. It's not going to plan at all for Rosario in this match. Lee with maybe a few too many wheat picks this morning for Bricky. Yes, indeed. Fault. Service fault. Oh, boy, service fault. Service Don't fault. want that. Service over. 20 match point seven. So here's Shauna Lee with the championship on her racket. Have to work a little harder. That drop shot not tight enough and easily jumped on by Rosario. Out. And that is it. It's a national Six. title to Shauna Lee, the left handed 18 year old from North Harbour. Shauna Lee winning this very comfortably indeed by 21 8, 21 8. And uh, the match won by tough Shirley, match for Caitlin nine, Rosario. Eight. Umpire Thank just you. confirming the score there of 8 and 8, respectively. Uh, and also confirming Shauna Lee as the New Zealand national badminton champion in the women's singles. Yeah, just too good, wasn't she, today? Oh, yeah. Agreed. That was a great little summary there, Glenn. And um, 
Shauna definitely uh, deserve it of that title as well. She's been a force to be reckoned with uh, over the last few years on the badminton scene, and she is continuing that role today. Um, really, and also over the long weekend too, she has been playing very well, and that is showing on the scoreboard uh, with not dropping a game throughout this entire weekend, I believe. So that is that. And we have uh, the runner-up, Caitlin Rosario, coming well, thank the screen. Well, thank you, Vinny. Here's Caitlin Rosario, uh, our runner-up of the women's singles. Caitlin, hard luck uh, not to be for you today. No, I think I was a little too sore to start playing all of this type of games, but Nashana played well. Um, but... Yeah, unlucky. <laughs> well, you did really well to get to the final, just very briefly. I mean, you had two three-game matches. You, 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 was your tank a bit, was your tank okay today, running on empty a bit? Uh, I haven't been practicing any singles whatsoever, so it was a bit hard um, playing all those games. All those players played tremendously well, and it was just basically a fight <laughs> how long I could last for. <laughs> well, well done, Caitlin, to get to the final. Congratulations. Here is your runners-up plaque. Congratulations, and good luck next time. Thank you very much. There we are, Caitlin Rosario. And here comes our winner now, Shauna Lee. And uh, Shauna, the national champion for 2022. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. And uh, why do you think you proved too good for Caitlin today? Um, I think she's been a bit injured. Um, but, yeah, I think I know her game plan quite well, as in, like, I've just played her pretty often. Like, we play for the same association as well, so probably why, yeah. Were you happy with the way you played today? Yeah, I'll, I've been pretty happy. Um, my, I've had a bit of a rocky tournament, just because, um, yeah, had a few stuff going on, like, before the tournament and stuff, but I'm happy with the way I played today, yeah. Well, well done, Shauna. You are the national champion for 2022. There is your winner's plaque, and here is the trophy. So well done, congratulations. Thank you so much, thank you. Here we are, Shauna Lee, the national champion for 2022 in the women's singles. There's just one match to come, folks, and it's the mixed doubles final, and that's coming up right after this. Imagine if we could make sport way easier. Imagine if everyone could just cheat. It would ruin sport, eh? Well, that's what doping is. People who are using performance enhancing drugs are making a joke out of real training. They're turning sports into a circus and Drug Free Sport New Zealand need our help to find the clowns. Now clowns can seem like high performance athletes and pretend they are the real McCoy. But this is what they actually look like. It's a joke and it's not funny. So what should you do if you see a clown? It doesn't matter where they are, from the Olympic podium right through to your social sports team. If you see a clown or suspect that there are clowns around, head over to Drug Free Sport New Zealand's Speak Out page. Speak Out is a safe place where you can easily and anonymously report any clownish behaviour. We train so hard for a spot on the team and a medal around our neck, only for it to be given to a clown. By speaking out, we protect our sport for all the athletes that train hard and fair. Because it doesn't matter if you win Olympic gold or the Sunday League Shield. Stand with champions, not clowns. If you know a clown or have seen something suspicious, head over to drugfreesport.org.nz and speak out. He kōrero or pono. Together, we can get the last laugh.
thank you again for being with us here at the National Championships for 2022. And uh, we are now moving towards our last match. Got to say, big congratulations to all the winners and the finalists. Edward Lau winning the men's singles. Sally Fu, Camelia Cho winning the women's doubles. Adam Jeffrey, Dylan Sudyasa, the men's doubles. And as we've just seen, Shauna Lee winning the women's singles. That leaves the one match to come. And uh, we can welcome on the players to the court now. Oliver Laden, Laden Davis and Anona Pack up against Adam Jeffrey and Irina Calder Hawkins. And this match, of course, will feature the, the two players that are heading to the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham, the UK. In just a matter of weeks now, Oliver Layton Davis and Anona Pack. Oliver Layton Davis, of course, and a very experienced international player. And Anona Pack has been a, uh, a very good doubles player for some time now. She's got amazing reactions. Interesting combination, of course, with uh, Layton Davis with Pack. Good to see them playing together here. And not playing either in the women's or the men's doubles either, Vinny. Concentrating exclusively on the mixed doubles. Yes, they've been really putting some time into um, their craft over the last uh, year or even more now. Um, they've been travelling around the world after the uh, pandemic restrictions in New Zealand and elsewhere lessened. And, and they've been playing in, I believe, they've already been to Birmingham playing in the All England Champs, the arguably the most uh, prestigious badminton tournament in the world and they've also been to uh, the places like Swiss Open and I believe the Hellas Open in Greece. Alright, so here is the path to the final. Leighton Davis and Pack have been won all of the matches in straight games including that semi-final over Edward Lau, our singles winner and Shauna Lee our uh, singles winner in the women's. So, uh, Aiden Davis and Pack proving too good in that match. 21-9, 21-16. Adam Jeffrey and Calder Hawkins have come through. They were taken to three games in their semi-final. And they also had a tight quarter-final win too there. 21-19, 21-19. So it hasn't been quite as easy for them, but they've shown a bit of heart and courage to get into the, into the big dance, as they say. Oh, exactly. They've been playing quite well this weekend, and uh, despite having less experience in comparison to Leighton Davis and Pack, they have really shown that they can compete with the best. Uh, the quarter-final that you mentioned, Glenn, was uh, against Jack Wang, who we just earlier this morning saw play in the men's doubles final. So they are, are not to be kind of taken lightly in this mixed doubles final because they're they're both great players and they've also already featured today. Yeah, Leighton Davis and Pack, though, you will notice are uh, they play at a very high level. Both very experienced players. Pack 28, Leighton Davis 32 now. Off to, I think, his third Commonwealth Games. If my uh, memory serves me correctly, might even be fourth. Yeah. Ready to play. So, ready to give it another crack, Oliver Leighton Davis. Jeffrey can call and Calder Hawkins can somehow find a way here. Sorry? This will be Sorry? a massive win for them. Yep. Davis and Pack, clearly the favourites heading into this match. But you rate Jeffrey and Calder Hawkins, I know, as a combination, Vinny. And uh, you, you, I know you're intrigued to see how they're going to go in this final. Yeah, I, I, I've seen both of them play extremely well over the weekend and uh, they have been very consistent playing at a high pace so it, it's um, going to be quite an interesting match I think uh, obviously coming up against uh, the likes of Leighton Davis and Pack may bring in a third or fourth fifth element to, to the match and bring in maybe some few nerves but uh, we will definitely see how they go they'll want to get a good start just to get any nerves out the way as well. And it's worth noting too that Adam Jeffrey on camera here is going for a second title of Ladies the day. Ladies and gentlemen. After winning the men's doubles earlier. On my right, Oliver Leighton Davis, Waikato, and Nona Pack, North Harbour. On my left, Adam Jeffries, Erina Corder-Hawkins, Auckland. Erica 
Porter Hawkins to serve to Oliver Latham Davis. Love all. Play. Um. Straight away, Leighton Davis. One love. All over that one. And it wasn't a bad serve from Quarter Hawkins either. Well. That's how to start a match. Two, love. Just looking at Leighton Davis's racket, and no, he hasn't got a hole in his racket. Got some fearsome power on that one. Anona Pack is a player who has Three. unbelievable reactions. Love. She's so quick. She knows where you're going to hit it quite often before you do. Oh. I tell you, the, uh, as Adam Jeffrey gets the uh, call to Service Hawkins, over. Jeffrey combination One. on the board. Three. It's a really intriguing combination, Leighton Davis and Pack. You've got Lane Davis speed and power. Uh, really excellent net prowess. Service over. A lovely combination. Four. And they're both One. very experienced players too, which I think is going to put them in good stead for the Commonwealth Games. Oh, too right. And, and also playing a, against great players like uh, Court Hawkins and Jeffries is going to put them in a good position to prepare as well. Five. And One. the other beautiful dynamic here is when they play in this tournament, they are the undoubted favourites. They're the only New Zealanders going to the Commonwealth Games in badminton. But with that comes expectation to Vinny, and you Service don't over. want to not Two, win your five. national title. Yeah. Because that doesn't look good on your CV, does it? Not necessarily, no. Uh, there is all of these expectations that come with it, a lot of it. Just because of the competitiveness of these players, it, it comes from within Three. as well. So there's Five. pressures coming from everywhere and uh, they do so well to deal with this and they obviously have their own um, ways of doing that which is interesting in itself. Davis, a couple of unforced errors off his racket so far. Over. He's Six, finished off some three. points very stylishly. Seven, three. Struggling to get it past Pack here. She's um, doing really well with the shot quality and also the preparedness of, of what's going to come back. And Leighton Davis again showing this power and Eight, the angles that he's three. hitting. It's so hard to get back. Doesn't often need a second invitation. Though, they get over. Wrong, and that was good work for Hawkins and Jeffrey. Oh. Just didn't quite get the under the over the ball that over the uh, shuttle eight. rather that time, Laden Davis. She really turned that one around. Uh, Quarter Service Hawkins over. and Jeffrey were controlling Nine, that rally. Five. They'd played a few really good shots, and all of a sudden, Pack's there to to turn that around in one shot. Oh, the closest uh, Leighton Davis and Pack, their opponent, has come to claiming a game off them is 16 in that semi. Now, oh. and Lee, singles winners. Service over. Six, nine. Davis Pack from the front again. Ah! That's good. 
seven, nine. Good work from Calder Hawkins and Jeffrey there. Very good defence from them, and they uh, show great courage to stay in that rally. Exactly, they really um, put Ollie and an owner under some pressure to to make a little bit more of that shot, for, uh, forcing the error really. Well left by Laden Davis. Service over. Ten seven. Seven, seven, interval. So to the first interval, and it's a four-point game for Leighton Davis and Pack. Yeah, uh, both Sonona and Oliver are, are playing quite well here this morning. They have obviously um, been doing a lot of training in preparation for the Commonwealth Games, and it's really showing here. Uh, Ollie's playing with a lot of variation in the rear court and when he does get the chance to play with some power, he's really hitting the ground. And Denona equally doing her part to uh, cut off any mid-court shots and really turn the rally around if, if there's any trouble going on. So I, I think 20 they're seconds. doing really well here. 20 It'll be seconds. interesting to see uh, what Jeffrey and Calder Hawkins do to maybe disrupt that a little bit. Well, they're in the, they're in the hunt here. Just got to keep telling you, telling themselves, well, we're still here. Mm. A couple 11, of errors, seven. we can lure a couple of errors. We're back in this first game. Play. Great get from Pack there. And it was in the end, easy put away for Jeffrey. But Pack did amazingly well just to get that over the net. Yeah, yeah, the cross-court net shot from Quarter Hawkins uh, just gliding across the Eight. tape and falling 11. over. Decision there, Jeffrey. Whose was that one, dear? Reckon, over. Well, so they were both well looking at each other. <laughs> I think Jeffrey wanted the uh, rear court shot in the first place. <coughs> he won't be Service wanting to over. do too many um, forced Nine, errors when he's serving. 12. Good smash. Yeah, Jeffrey, a bit of Ten. chest out play there. Well, yeah, it was a um, real good display of some staple mixed doubles as well. He, he played a really tight block, forcing Oliver to lift the shuttle up, and he was there to really the capitalise. Score is 10 12. That tablet's not working, guys. So the, the score is 10 12. The umpire confirms. Um, the scoreboard on your screen will uh, be incorrect. Hopefully we can get that uh, fixed. So 10-12 the score. Oh, big chance there for Calder Hawkins to win another point. Not to be. 13-10. Fantastic shot from back to win that point. Yeah, she had both players, 14, at, 10. both players in the rear court tram line, and obviously that leaves a massive gap in the front, and she really hit the spot there. Beautifully finished. To make it 14-10. Great point from both combinations, though. Good serve from 15-10. Davis or Leighton Davis there. 16 10. A nice little run of points here for the 
top seeds here, Vinny. I think that might be four in a row now. Seventeen, ten. Great serve. from Calder Hawkins and Jeffrey that time. Service over. Never pleased when you're backtracking 17. in a doubles match. No, nope. and they're not making it easy for Leighton Davis and Pack either, who are the favourites, but on court they they got to make every point count. And there's Pack again. She's so good. At the front of the court. Service over. Chase on. Yeah, Oliver's um, really doing a good job 18, to hit the 11. hitters attacking shots with good angle. And as soon as the shuttle's quite far down below the tape, then it really brings in the, the girl in this case, uh, an owner, to come in and, and finish it off. It's all about being a great combination. Doubles. It's a, uh, 19. Call to Hawkins would like again. As we see Leighton Davis and Pat closing in now on the the opening game of this mixed doubles final. Service over. Oh, it's, uh, 12. Second 19. time he's done that in this opening game. Yeah, he has to pump himself up to, to get out of that. He's oh. back again, so aware of what needs to be done. Service over. 20, game point, 12. It's a great little brush to um, get that shuttle down. It's not that easy. Yeah, you got to time it well. So game points now. Game. There it is. Nicely finished by Pack. First game won by Oliver Leighton Davis and Ada Pack. 21 12. So it is mission accomplished in the first game. A few too many, maybe, unforced errors from uh, this combination here for their liking, even though they won it comfortably. Yeah, we were talking about the, the, the pressures that might be on them uh, being the top seeds and also uh, being selected in the Commonwealth Games team to, to travel to Birmingham later in the year. Um, and maybe they're thinking about all of these things at the same time. You never really know until they maybe say so themselves. But they're, they're obviously still uh, really controlling the rallies and they're, they're really able to keep the attack and finish the points off for the most part. So they'll be wanting to continue that into the second game. And what about for Jeffrey and Calder Hawkins here? What do you think is their goal as they uh, try and create and, uh, some more pressure on their opponents? Yeah, they'll be wanting to disrupt whatever sort of uh, patterns and trends and, and, and positivities that Pack and Oliver Leighton Davis are coming with today. So uh, I can't tell you what their tactic's going to be. Uh, <laughs> that's really up to um, their coach, but um, they'll definitely want yep. to make a change here. Because they are in the rallies as well. They're, they're not losing everything and they're playing reasonably well, I think. 21 to 12, Leighton Davis and Pack. Get things underway, and now they have. Second game. One game away from another Love national ball. title for both of them. Play. I guess they would have won a few together. Well, if you. Uh, maybe not together so much, uh, actually, Vinny, but they would have won plenty of doubles titles. One love. With other partners. Definitely. He decided mid-jump. Nope, that shot was probably Two. not landing in. Love. And it was actually well long, wasn't it? Yeah. It was a good foot out. I guess it's um, a sign of how far he jumps for. Service over. 
one, two. Another uh, rear court shot, well judged by Leon Davis. Service over, three, one. Again, the power of Leon Davis um. on display. Four, one. making sure they're on the same page before the next point. Oh, Adam Jeffrey getting away with one there. Yeah, Service a little over. bit of indecision two. shown on his part too. He, he was hesitant to hit that one and he ended up doing it and maybe it was for the best. Yeah, very late, didn't he? Beautifully done by Jeffrey. That was excellent play. Great follow up. Great setting up. Three. Put the two four. together and you've got a point. Excellent work from Calder Hawkins in that rally as well. That was really good work from this pair. Those shots are going to have to be left in the locker room. If Service over. Calder Hawkins Five, and Jeffrey. Three. Want to put pressure on their fancied opponents. Good work by an owner to, to get that shuttle out in front of her. Six, three. Must be often tempting to leave that one for the partner to get because they have a little bit more time, but if you can hit that, it puts that much more pressure on your opponent. To strength for sure. Great shot from Leighton Davis. Great angle on it. Seven, three. Just overcooked it. Service over. Four. Seven. Well left from Jeffrey, he was he was scrambling back to, to hit it if you needed to. He's probably thinking somebody that it wasn't. Five seven. Easy for pack in the mid there. Service over. Eight, five. Pack won't miss those opportunities. Nine, five. They'll be wanting to get back to where they were at the start of the second game, where they were competing really well. Oh, it's a good fight from Calder Hawkins there. Service over. Six, nine. As I touched on earlier, sometimes all you have to do is just get it back over. Ask the opponent to play one more shot. You just don't know what's going to happen. Exactly. Service over, 10, 6. Great defence from Leighton Davis 11, there. 6, interval. It's the interval in the second game, so things are ticking along nicely here for Leighton Davis and Pack. Just ticking the boxes at the moment. 
yeah, maybe not as dominant as they were in the first. Maybe that's uh, virtue to to Calder Hawkins and Jeffrey playing a little bit better at the start of the second game and uh, giving away a couple towards the end there. So they'll be wanting to get back into that in the second half. But um, we definitely are seeing some good quality badminton from the two on screen just here in Oliver Layden Davis and Anona Pack. Yeah, that class is shining through. But there is still work. To 20 do. seconds. 20 seconds. Jeffrey Calder Hawkins have fought well in this match. It's been uh, probably the big feature of, of their game so far is that they're, you know, they're just uh, continuing to play with a lot of courage. Yeah, yeah, and they don't have as much experience as the pair on the other side, and they know that. Um, so maybe they're just coming in here with that attitude to say, hey, we're in a good position here, we're playing really well, let's just ride that wave. 11-6. Absolutely, give it a crack. Play. Five-point game here. Leighton Davis to serve. Again, Pack coming in and and um, 12, letting, letting Corder Hawkins know that, hey, I'm here and I am going to hit them if I can and that will be disruptive. She's got that beautiful ability to take the pace off the shuttle. Bit of impatience shown from Jeffrey. 13 6. So the lead is now 7, biggest of this game so far. Just over cooked. Service the touch. over. 7 13. Leighton Davis putting Service the pressure over. on now. 14-7. Touch. Fifteen seven. Well left by Jeffrey. Service Bit of over. Eight fifteen. Nicely finished off by Calder Hawkins. 9-15. Yeah, indecision from Leighton Davis led to a, a loose shot at the net there for Calder Hawkins to finish off. Oh, great deception. Yeah, they thought it was going down the other Service side, over. cross court. 16-9. Not easy to change your mind in that scenario that Leighton Davis was just in. Leighton Davis just walked away. Actually, I, I reckon I should get a bonus point for that. Mm. That one that was pretty good. No bonus points in this sport. Out. 17-9. Oh, decisive lead now for Leighton Davis and Pack. Humming along pretty well. Four points away from victory. Oh, nice little change of pace there. He saw 18, Porter Hawkins nine. hit her base so far towards the rear court because he's been hitting it so hard. Then all of a sudden, come and get this one. Yeah, it's always that trick, isn't it? Push your opponents back and then put it in front of them. Good return that time from Calder Hawkins. Yep. Service over. 
10, 18. Service over. Cut the shuttle in half here, Leighton Davis. Yeah, Nona was thinking about going for it, and I think Oliver just wanted a little bit more. <laughs> he wasn't too happy with Service that. over. 11, 19. Shuttle wanted to go over. 12, 19. And it's it, not this time. So Jeffrey and Port Orchids fighting again. Ooh. Yep. Yep. Service over. 20, match point 12. Fault called for a double hit, I think. I think you're right. So match point now for Pack and Leyden Davis. Jeffrey finishes that one off stylishly. Wonderful Sober. smash. 13, 20. Out. We don't see errors from Pax. Racket like that 20. too often. No. So two match points saved now by Jeffrey and Calder Hawkins. Game. We'll do it. And it is Leighton Davis and Pack that win the mixed doubles. Comprehensive winners, 21 12, 21 14. And our Commonwealth Games Match representatives. One by Oliver Leighton Davis. Too good. Anona Pack, 21 12, 21 14. Thank you. And a pretty decisive win there for the established combination. Yes, yes, Glenn. That, um, that uh, kicks off our final match, really, for the day. And it was a good one in that, showing, oh, showed by the experience to Leighton Davison pack against a um, well playing Jeffrey and Corder Hawkins of Auckland. Yeah, they were a pretty good combination, weren't they? Yeah, they did a really good job of getting here this weekend. They had some close matches. Uh, all the way through to their three-game semi-final last evening and uh, coming in today, playing in the national championship final is a um, good result for them as well, especially being able to get the opportunity to play against our Commonwealth game team players in Anona Pack and Oliver Leighton Davis, um, who have obviously now won the national ch uh, championship title of the mixed doubles category. So that is well played by both sides. We just have Erin Quarter hawkins and Adam Jeffrey up to stage now and over to you, Glenn. Well, thanks, Finney. Got the runners up here, Adam and Erin. And Erin, well, they were just too good, weren't they? I mean, they're a, a well-established combination, though, aren't they? Yeah, I think, I think it definitely shows that having experience, really, you can... Um, choose what shot you're playing and you can really pick out the weaknesses in your opponent. Yeah. But uh, you guys did well. I mean, Adam, uh, great to get to the final. Yeah, good to get to the final. Um, had some hard games coming into this. So, yeah, it was good to get here. Yeah. Oh, well, at least you won one title today, mate. Yeah. Well done. OK, here are your runners-up plaques. That's for you. And here's the second one for you, Erin. Congratulations on a great tournament for both of you. As we can welcome in the winners now of the mixed doubles, Anona Pack and Oliver Layden Davis, our Commonwealth Games representative. First of all, congratulations on getting to the Commonwealth Games, Anona. Thank you, thank you very much. And Ollie, you're off to what's the number? We think number four. Number four. It's pretty exciting, isn't it? Definitely. Yeah, we didn't wouldn't have thought that would happen sort of ten years ago. So no, it's pretty cool. Well, well done and good win today, Anona. You're happy with the way you played? Yeah, very happy. Um, we. Uh, learnt a lot the past few weeks as well and then just to build on top of that just to get ready for the games as well yeah 
What's coming up next, Ollie? After you've uh, you've won here, what, what's the plans from here? Yeah, um, two weeks time, we're off to Malaysia and Singapore, a couple of tournaments there, um, then on to Scotland to build up with them, and then down straight down to the games after that. It's been a month on the road, which will be yeah, it's exciting. Okay, guys, another national title for you, Anona. I'm sure, we got a few of these uh, over the years, and Oliver probably a, a few more for you, mate. And don't f here's your trophy. Don't forget the trophy. Well done, guys. Congratulations. Thank you very much. All right. Well, that's a uh, wrap. Almost. Almost here on the National Championships 2022. We're going to bring in Vinny to wrap it all up today. First of all, great job today, Vinny. Really enjoyed it? Oh, I had a great time. It's been a really good morning of badminton, and I uh, am very happy to be here. What is your? What have been your highlights today, mate, um, uh, going through the five matches? Oh, there's been so many good things happening. Um, starting off with the men's singles, a great display between Abin and Vinota and Edward Lau. They always have a great match, and also the men's doubles was an exciting one too. Got to give kudos to Shauna Lee as well in the women's singles who played really well to um, show a dominant display of singles. Yeah, got to give a shout out to, to uh, Sally Fu and uh, to Joe as well, uh, Camellia Joe for winning the women's doubles. And I think a, a good performance to, in, to end there too with Anona Pack and Oliver Laden Davis who are warming up quite nicely for the Commonwealth Games it seems. Yeah, they'll be um, really rearing to go and they may have a couple more weeks of prep to um, get into that. So this will be a bit of a confidence boost for them leading into that period. Well, good stuff, Vinny. Thank you very much today, and thanks for watching here the 2022 National Championship. It's been, it's been an absolute pleasure bringing it to you today. We've got more badminton coming up for you very soon here on the Badminton New Zealand YouTube channel, so we hope you can join us then.